Okay, we just bought this camper and we got it for a really, really good price. Everything in the camper is really good. Um, everything's fine. We don't have any problems at all. It's really actually a great Class C camper. It's a 1998. Everything works really, really good. The only thing is, is that we are going to have to rebuild the overcab part, which Randy and I are very um, carpentry savvy, so we are going to take this on. So here's the part that's bad. Um, the cab over, I just took all the cushions out. The cab over is rotten. The laminate on the outside is coming loose. So we know, we knew before we bought it, that all this was going to have to be replaced. As you can see, the water damage is uh, pretty significant. So all this has got to come out. Even the curtains had water damage uh, there. Um, of course, that's all going to go. The windows behind that. We don't know yet if we're going to keep that window or if we're going to cover it up. We're not sure. The ceiling, there's a seam right there that we're pretty sure that's where a lot of the water damage came from. All this is going to have to be replaced. There were even some ants in here underneath of the cushion. And um, so today I'm going to start by taking out these screws from this headliner. And we're going to start with getting all this done. And you can see somebody's done some kind of work because there's staples in here that shouldn't have been here. Um, so somebody's tried to do some kind of work to um, take care of this damage, but we're gonna we're gonna fix it the right way and get this thing back on the road like it should be. So this is step number one. Okay, so it turns out this is a storage box. It had some old curtains in it, and it had a uh, it had a uh, visor in it for the windshield. So that was like a a surprise so anyway it's coming out it's going to come out because the floor is rotten under it anyway so i'm going to take that out say so i'm doing a couple of other little projects while i'm at it one thing is it's got a lot of gold in it i'm going to order some new cabinet hinges in black and i'm going to take these down i've got some uh new um new little hooks that I have in in the house that I've been saving for some a project. I didn't know exactly what it was, but I've got those in the house. I'm going to paint these boards black to match the hinges, I mean the uh, cabinet uh, hardware, and um, put those up. Plus the, ca the stove is black. And um, also the uh, bathroom, in the bathroom I went ahead, I had a, a blue um, shower curtain that I had was going to save for a garage sale but it matches perfect and here it was from an old camper that we had I had put it away so also I'm going to get some black um towel racks I'm get rid of, this has got like four towel racks in here and I don't really know why so I'm going to get rid of some of these and put in a black a different kind of towel rack in here and I'm probably going to get a stainless steel bowl for in here and I'm going to put some plastic that plastic tile uh, mosaic tile in here around the bathroom sink so I've got plans it's just going to take a little bit so so far so good I've got plans for it <laughs> 